Right then, the orchid builder here. And once again, they messed up the bloody uh, planet, haven't they? Well, this time at least it's not the old planet, it's just the surface. So we're under the sea now. Got another uh, construction project going on. Aquatico. Let's go. Uh, subsurface colony. We're under the sea, so... This will be the uh, octopus's garden. Yeah, I know it should be it should be possessive, but I can't do the bloody uh, 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 apostrophe. All right, faction banner. That's probably what we'll look like if we're not careful. Hey, there you are. Find happy place. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go white. White's the horse. Oh, anything else? Oh, that looks scary. Come on, show us something good. Can we go white? Can we go somewhere else? That blue's kind of nice. Uh, yellow's not bad. Gold, you know. We'll go white, that's fine. We've got Shallow Reef. Wasteland. Oh, and these are difficult, different, uh, different difficulties. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to we'll go with normal. I've never touched this thing before. I haven't even done tutorial. I watched a little bit of gameplay to see if I might be interested in it, but that's all. A very little bit, about five minutes. Right, population. Hang on. I guess that's where we start, is it? Right, continue. We were bound for the stars, but the stars had other plans for us. Our cities were bright. We were walking in the sunlight. And walking then, on sunlight, oh! Nimrod struck. Arriving from the stars, the asteroid obliterated our world. Radiation spread. The climate changed, and sea levels increased. The oceans were our demise, but now they're a chance for survival. Beneath the waves, we will find a new home, and you will be there to build it. First couple of years, focus on producing food, fuel, oxygen, electricity, and basic construction. All right, choose a location, build your subsurface base. I don't know if there's any any uh, reason to build it anywhere special. Let's dump it over here. Welcome, Sea Mayor. Leading an underwater colony. Oh, it looks like it'd give me a tutorial anyway. Uh, colony is a great responsibility, but we are but we at the New Atlantis have no doubt you can handle it. Good, because I bloody can, I hope so anyway. Um, anyway, and you're all up. Going underwater is our last chance of survival. Since the asteroid it made, uh, made the surface uninhabitable. Focus on production of plastics for construction, fuel for eating, and food for our people. The cold winter currents will strike soon. Build a beacon of civilization and give hope to mankind in these hard times. A tutorial to learn how to build and organise your underwater colony. Right, so there is a tutorial that we're doing right now. Uh, over over the highlighted icons. Continue. Right, that's credits. This is your resource bar. It uh, displays the current most important resources, such as credits, food, etc. Right. Now what? That tells me I said Yeah, but I've, I've hovered over it, haven't I? What are you... What are you telling me next? I've hovered over it. Highlighted icons, is that... That's a bit daft, what? Alright, we've got another. Electricity, crude oil, etc. are important uh, part of the proper function of your colony. These transported via uh, connecting pipelines from or 
from appropriate production buildings. All right, it's fine. Yeah, 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 we get that. This is what monsters. Keep track of your residents count. That'll be that. Drones. Oh, that are not monsters. Drones. Uh, political influence three, and whatever that is else, I guess happiness. Uh, pause the game using space, and then come pause it again. With the one. Right. Play all the controls below. WASD. Uh, mouse. Yep. Q and E to rotate. Middle. Yep. Fine. Uh, also rotate. Okay. Open the production buildings group through the game toolbar. Right. That's that. Select and place a gatherer's place on the seabed. Idle. Okay, what's this? Uh, gatherer's place. Up for crews gathering edible maritime fauna like mussels, sea shed, sea snails, and sea cucumber. Will it tell me how good they are at any particular place? Not sure. I seen anything special. But I want it to have space around it, I think. Uh, this will continue after the construction is completed. Right, well, let's go two, three. Let's go eight times. There we are. Off the, off they go. Open the jobs board, J, and check automatically assign workforce. Where are we? Automatically, right there. One gatherer drone. Find the most efficient location, then select and place a sponge collector on the seabed. See the efficiency of the hint uh, on the hint when you are placing the spot. Okay. For this, that sponge. Oh, okay. So right. So that's that's got up to about one hundred and twenty. This is one hundred twenty-three. One hundred twenty. Think we about it. One. What's that? Select and place platform on the seabed. Uh, toggle the view G. That's that. A uh, robot. Body rig that extracts crude oil. All right. Look for orange cells. All the way over here. We've got to be somewhat closer, surely. What's the matter here? A bit of a distance even then, but at least it's closer. Oh, there's some down here. Bloody Charlie. Right. Crude oil needs to be refined so your residents can use it for eating. It's done in all in fuel refineries. Right, here we go. Imagine we can do that there. Certain buildings need to be interconnected by a combined uh, pipeline system. To be able to work. Pipelines are used to transport crude oil, fuel, electricity, and oxygen around your water underwater colony. Right. So we need that's over here. Pipeline. Like a pipeline. Yep. Got that. Connect the oil platform and the sea uh, fuel refinery with the same. Is that not in? Oh, 
Well, that's connected now, right? But it's not them, it's the blue. Alright. There we are. Right, select the Mark Sponge Collector building and pay for the production boost upgrade. That's him. Got that. Select and place a plastic refinery on the seabed. Connect your plastics factory to the existing pipeline. Plastics factory uses sponges harvested uh, to produce plastics. Alright, so we want them near the sponges. connect them to existing stuff so I've got to drag this old road down here Great. Harvest the uh, designated resources. Drag a box around the area you want to harvest. Some materials can be found and scavenged in your immediate surroundings, such as plastic, etc. So gather them on the game toolbar. Left click mouse to open. Uh, and select gather. Okay. Gather them on the game toolbar. Left click mouse. And that's that. Open up. Oh, it's down here, sorry. Ah, I got you. And select gather stone or iron. Plastic. All right, that's that. Open up the research and research tidal turbine. Right, so this is where research comes in. Allows us to build turbine that uses the power of the sea currents to make electricity energy. Select and place a dome on the seabed. House and civic buildings can only be built inside sized dumps. Right, so we're going here. That's a small dome. Where is it? Doesn't look bloody small, but okay, I'll take your word for it. That will continue after that's been done. He's heading out here and he's collecting that. That's wind drilling over here or something, I guess. Toggle between ground and dome view tab. You've constructed. Ah, hang on. Select and place two houses inside your dome. House in. That's one. Looks like you need a bit of a gap. I still need enough. At least those there, they're probably a path out or something. Or an entry. Okay. Open up the research screen and research the oxygen generator. Right. Allows us to build a vital building that chemically turns seawater elements into breathable air. Let's place a tidal turbine on the seabed. That's here. Tidal turbine. Collect and place an oxygen 
repair generator on the seabed. All right. Why is that upset? Oh, we're, we're making oxygen one. Connect the dome tidal turbine, oxygen generator, and fuel with a single pipeline. All right, we can do that. Yep, we can do that indeed. Right. Where are we? Pipeline. We are going. We've done that, haven't we? I wonder if I didn't quite get that in there. Looks like I have. Put that onto the same pipe, I guess. Ah, it does need to be connected to the same thing. Right. Open up the research and research the battery factory. Don't use batteries. If you run out of batteries, your drones will be able to fulfill their task. That makes all really sense to me. There we go. Collect the leaking pipeline socket and repair it. Oh, there you go. Pipeline can break down from time to time. And that happens, you uh, be sure to repair leaking sockets so that your buildings can continue. And quickly select the broken pipeline by left clicking on the notification. Oh, right there. I got you. And then what do we do? Is it a fix button or do we just... Oh, you just click there. I didn't see that before. Uh, tutorial will continue after research is complete. That's fine. Select and place a battery factory on the seabed. No problem. There are lots of bloody buildings that look kind of similar. I'll say that. This marks the end of the step-by-step -step tutorial. Aye, hey, we done it. As a word of a final word of advice, watch out for notifications and warnings. The game sends you away and act on challenges in a timely ma a manner. See you, see, mate, etc. Uh, looks like that's got to be connected to pipeline. What's the problem? Resource required in production and not arrived until this building. Missing pipeline related to... Uh, that's it. Workers on route from HQ. Alright. New arrivals. New people have arrived at your colony. New Atlantis. Sent them to assist with daily tasks. Put them to good use as soon as possible. I accept them. Like, what's going on here? Resource missing electricity. That's also missing electricity. Am I just not making it up? I wonder if I'm not making it up. Production boost. Get that done. What's going off here? Let's get another wind turbine in. Turbine at least.
And then we've got a hook that up. Where are we? Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, that was it, I reckon. As soon as we put that on. Getting good. What's this? No arms for people. Ah, we've got to get more arms out. Of course we do. Right, we need a couple more houses. Yeah. A new wave. More drones. That's fine, and it's not people. We're getting people's hours is done without that. What else can we research? The old refinery in proximity of oil platform gains 10% production bonus. Have that. All right, so it's one pipe. They don't need to be next to each other. They can be bloody anyway. It's one pipe. Oh, shit. Research completed. Are we making money? Looks like we might be. Looks like we might be, so let's get a bit more research on, shall we? Uh, Deco banner allows construction of a hologram panel that displays our function, uh, our faction banner. Improves our resident satisfaction around the environment. We get one of them. Cheap. Big outside door. Research completed. Not that, is it? Public buildings, no. Not going to be production of food. Security. Infrastructure. Oh. Maybe it's in here then. Clear buildings. Beautification. Not seen anything that seems to indicate it. Uh, fine production. Oh. Restaurants, oh nice. Public buildings, no. I was in, no, it's not there. Workers on route from HQ. Workers coming soon. Gonna need more uh, more houses, aren't we? New people have arrived. Plus three. We're gonna want more houses. But is there any way to research houses? There's got to be ample. House two. It's all the way down here. Alright, so I need drone factory next. And we need to go in here and get houses on. Next, can we send in his help to ensure the success? Plastic! Nice. Actually need it, but it's good. You will need more drones soon for all the work you needed. Build a drone factory. Yeah, we got we got that one coming. Oh, we done it. The plastic, which is this, 
would be within reach at Drawn Factory. Punch collector. Uh, right. Production building. Drawn Factory. There we are. And we need a bit of piping. What else we got going on? No, that's Sea Hunter's Lodge. An under, underwater field. Actually built to build agricultural services that produce seaweed and sea cucumbers. As we get it, I don't know if we're going to need it. Then we've got clothes shop. Underwater fields are a great but expensive way of producing basic food. Harvesting them comes once a year, uh, once in a year. Uh, seaweed, yeah, okay, so that's fine. It's not that. Food production. We've got gatherers place, we've got that. Fisherman's up. Upkeep, sponge, 100. Mm, small fish, okay. Or, got this. Don't know how good that's going to be, but we'll probably end up using it, I don't know. Oh, shop, we can get one of them in there. Food tier 1 variety. Diverse food sources equals healthier residents. Produce or trade more varied. Okay. So we're going to need. Uh, food production. Don't worry. Yeah. How do we know what we want? I don't know. Floor shop's done. Uh, see on to the Let's get that done. And if we've got a clothes shop done, why don't we get that built? That might be useful to us. Research completed. We got that. Yep, one. That's Sea Hunter's Lodge. Right. Only food production, isn't it? Producers shark meat. Needs fifty oxygen, a drone. I don't know if there's somewhere specific for shark meat. Put this here. We'll get a bit of pipeline. Actually, let's also get uh, fishermen's up here as well. And we get uh, pipeline.
doesn't say it means connecting. We don't have a lot of choice right now, but hopefully that'll help. That's comprehensive for our subservice base. Isn't that this? Yep. Directive. Not something we can do right now. That's what it is. House 2. Hey, we got 2,300. Not bad, that. Searching else too. Sponge, uh, sponge collector gains 10 percent okay sponge collector would need to gather oh hang on back line leaking fair socket get that one getting that right um that's all already done Low food in stock. Fine. More bloody food production, shall we? That's got rid of that problem anyway. Going up a lot now. Workers on route. More workers. Uh, actually, we've got uh, we've got houses, ain't we? So let's uh, let's get back in there. Oh God, I need iron. New arrivals, accept them. Can't do nothing with them yet, though. Insufficient oxygen. Hydration. Boost. And uh, insufficient fuel. This fuel connection up here. Be good. Right. Now, uh, that tools. The owner's large proximity of fishermen's up. Yeah, we got that. Property tax. Could use that. Global improvement that increases the production of raw seafood by 10%. Do we do some mussels, uh, some mussel crab, shark? Uh, that's nice. Right now, property tax, though. So, if we get both of them on, it'll increase more and it'll use less. Uh, Alright, so energy production and all. Trade port, what's that? Marine vessels. Transport fever, that's a good game. Uh, enables an advanced mode of drone tra uh, traffic regulation, causing them to be 10% faster. 
Mines, tree plants, iron mines. All right, now. I just noted the time. We've got a base underway. We're doing a rate, I reckon. What's going on here? Shouldn't that be shouldn't that be working? Oh, we don't have iron. Well, not sure how we get that. We have a factory that produces it. Looking building. Yeah, we've got an iron mine. We've got research iron mine though. I don't see where that is. There it is. After trade port. That's the first thing we want. An iron mine. Any road up. Look, we have to descend and come back next time as we grow our base further. Didn't they, Anon? <laughs>